Hi everybody and welcome to Howler.TV and our ongoing interview series. Today we have an original, a Hollywood original. Yeah. This is Tony Gardner who heads up Alterian. Correct. Yes. And Alterian is a is it, is that is it called Alterian Enterprises? In Al Alterian Incorporated. Alterian Incorporated, mm -hmm. which is a special effects makeup house. Is that right? Correct. And we have spent much, many hours of intimacy together because Tony quality personal time quality oh, yeah. because yeah. Tony created the caveman character. Wow. That's why I'm sitting in the makeup chair. This you is John. Was the caveman? Yes, That's right. one of them. Now, uh, you know, I well, was one of three. Okay, but I, I, was I your favorite? Everybody says you were the <laughs> funnest and the happiest and the most upbeat and had the one of a kind one-liners off the cuff. <laughs> Every single time. Well, that's true. That yes. that is my skill set is being a nice guy and <laughs> improvising, and that's basically those are the only skills I have. But this was perfect for this job. It was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how you went about. I'm mean, like we're in we're in a yeah. makeup Can room I, here. I'm gonna just look around while you guys chat. Okay. Yeah. So now I remember the first thing that you did was you <laughs> casted. My head. You put goo all over my head. I turned you into like a stone head. Like yeah. That. And so somewhere in your, the, by the way, we're in a makeup room, but there's a whole studio filled with cool things back here. But a lot of it's top secret. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Do you want to talk about some of the things that you that you've worked on? Because you've done basically everything. Well, besides you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we uh, yeah the caveman. God, those were good days, okay. weren't they? Yeah. This. <sighs> But see, it's still going. Maybe. I know yeah, they still they're them. still shooting them, and the executives are telling Tony they really like me. So tell them I'm they available. Said, they said you're their favorite. Do they do they think you're just too out of their range now? Oh, well, or what? please think, let them know think, that I'm not. You know, now that he's in TV. And, uh, yeah. And hell no. No, I would be there in a flash. I love that gig. Uh, well, this might lead to that. You yeah. never know. There I you know go. that's true. We'll send this over. We'll yes. See. Yeah. Definitely. So, Tony, you've done, I mean, I, I we mean, do every, weird stuff. you've done uh, everything. Name some of the films and TV shows that you've done. Uh, for people that are under 15? Or... <laughs> All. Uh, we did Hairspray with John Travolta. We turned the into fat a, suit. Mm -hmm. A larger, fuller woman. Yeah. This is right now. Uh, we did Zombieland, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Daft Punk. Daft Punk. Mm -hmm. um, did the helmets and all their whole outfit. Bad right? Grandpa. Um, I actually directed one of their music videos. You, you did? Yeah. Whoa. It's about female body image, and people had issues with even that issue, so it was interesting. I know that you did, uh, let's see, you did Bad Grandpa. You did a lot of the Jackass stuff. Did all the old age makeups for all the Jackass movies, and then Bad Grandpa, and... Uh, Three Kings, I just yes. found that out. Uh, right. What else? Tons always, of stuff. When people ask me, I, I literally always go blank. Okay, mm -hmm. I so. will post. Uh, 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 I mean, everything. seriously, you can this, remind me. He yeah. has done everything. Oh, Hocus Pocus. That's Hocus it. Pocus. I'm only saying because I'm looking at the wig. Right? Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, wait, what's this for? That was Katy Perry from the birthday music video. That was her makeup as the uh, bar mitzvah MC uh, Yosef. Um, Can you then, find that on YouTube? Yeah, that yeah, Vivo, actually, yeah. yeah. Okay. That Katy yeah. Perry video where she dresses up as different people she's is in, all him. She's in five different makeups over the course of kind of really two shooting days, and she was amazing. Just great. You've Not that pro. She, like, you cried when we did your full body. <laughs> like, we did her as a, in a full body, and she didn't cry. She I did. Amazing. One of the one of the hardest things for me was I did a, a, a commercial. The very first one. Uh, the very first one, which was I was covered in hair, mm -hmm. and they and back and you then, had shorts. You just and had I had shorts. tight shorts, and it was it was horrid. I and mean, full it was body hair. What he's getting at is he's covered in glue, and he had and the flu. Is no, it, for that one I didn't. Oh, okay. For that one I was okay. But then they you perfected it, at, or as you yeah, got more and more money, they made this stuff where they could just kind of wrap it on. Yeah, but it was, yeah. it was it was amazing. Like a lace. A stretch lace base. Yeah, yeah that that changed so, all of our lives. Yeah, so that made life easier. But you, 
had to go through what you did first. Yes. So that oh. we learned that maybe we should find something better. That yeah. was that was tough. But then I did the tennis commercial with the Billie Jean King, which I think you were at. Yes. And you, uh, you guys, I was laid out on a chair like this, and they, you know, I'm just in mm -hmm. little tidy whities and they're applying. There's like three. That was the best part of the job is listening to all of them oh, yeah. nerd out on makeup talk. Oh my god, I wish I could have recorded People know that. Too much about too many movies. Yeah, you guys, the, you guys would be talking about. Oh my god, Lord of the Rings, and it was just nerd speak which I love mm -hmm. but the, the, on that one I had these tight tennis shorts so they had to put leg hair on and there was a, a woman uh, applicator yes. that, who a, a female a person that was working on my legs and it, and the hair had to go so high up that at one point she just grabbed gently grabbed my junk and glued the hair up in the crease there. And at the and when it happened, my eyes were closed and I didn't know that was gonna happen. And I kind of went inside my head and went, whoa, wow, okay, <laughs> that's forward. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, that is a pro move. It's like being a doctor. Yeah. Right. She, she probably didn't even see it anymore. She didn't have to talk about it. Yeah. We didn't have to. She just did it and we're done. And I was like, she is a pro. That was like when we did that naked scene with you. And I was like, all right, John, let, you know. Just do it. Let's go. Yeah. Well, you did make all of us wear only underwear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was what naked was at the time. Yeah. Is there a favorite uh, caveman commercial that you have? Is there one that sticks out? You've wow. done, I mean, there's probably, what, like 30? Thirty of them, and they keep going. Yeah. yeah, it all sort of literally blends together. Like yeah, hair. Yeah, um, I remember one at the um, uh, Chateau I think, Marmont. I think the ones in the very beginning, because there were no expectations and there was no mm -hmm. sense of it was going to go anywhere. So like the one with you, and then the two right after that. Yes, that my mom's great. on speaker. That one. No, that was later. Oh, uh, he's later talking now. about the one where. Um, uh, oh yeah. The boom guy. Uh, yes, boom I remember guy. that. And, and he throws it down and he says, "Not cool," and he storms yeah. out. And then the next one is the host trying to apologize. Yeah. Right. And it's just, it set the tone for all of it. Yeah. And everybody was just so good. Yeah. And, and, and the, 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 everybody's timing with the responses. Yeah. It just worked really well. Yeah. So this is like the, the where's the beef commercial. Where it was, just, yeah, it was it, a huge it phenomenon. Industry, yeah. Well, it led to a TV series. Yes, yeah. it did. It didn't last, but no. it led to I did a part on the TV series. I know. Oh, yeah, the, okay, you yeah, of course you would know. You wore the hat. You were in charge, but you weren't around for that. You were, you guys were working yeah. crazy hours Yeah, we were, that. Doing, that was... we were building other characters while you guys were shooting. What's yeah. your favorite so, thing you've ever designed? I think for me, it's usually the first time I've done something I've never done before, mm -hmm. or it's something where we've actually succeeded in fooling people. Like the very first Jackass TV episode where we did them as old people, yeah, and they walked out in a crowd and got away with it. And we did Spike actually in a in a fat makeup, and he went in and tried glasses on somewhere and left. And then he went. The whole idea was he was gonna attack Johnny Knoxville and belittle him mm -hmm. as as part of the crowd and Knoxville wouldn't know who he was but Spike has a voice like me so as soon as he opened his mouth Knoxville knew who he was right. and the cat's out of the bag but they realized that having somebody to play off of and beat the shit out yeah. of him or whatever people responded to that and that that was kind of fun to see that sort of get figured out but we very quickly turned Spike into an old lady the next go around and she has a wardrobe mishap where she loses all her clothes and she's out in the street and just watching people respond and feeling bad for her yeah. it's like you feel bad for a second and then it's and your work hilarious. is 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 fooling people up close yeah. in direct sunlight like and that's the fun part. yeah and, and the, you've even worked with real people i won't say what what but like yeah where you disguising, disguising real people disguising law real people enforcement for and law stuff like that yeah like real and stuff who knew that that was even a thing is it just you well, or people do that because no, i mean like when we we're all kids and stuff you watch mission impossible and mm -hmm. and it was like these people mm -hmm. doing cool disguises and doing going out and so you know, that really in, does happen in yeah, law enforcement. Yeah. Now there's another thing that go uh, watch Argo because oh the, right they the guy who is on in that John Chambers um, mm. he went into the military from this industry yeah. and didn't talk about it and nobody was supposed to know about it and now that he's passed it's it's all know, coming it's out. kind of common knowledge and all of a sudden things show up on the internet where it's like here's the kit that John. Uh, John Chambers made so that these guys could go into different countries and here's a pullover mask of this and wow. makeup supplies and everything else and it's wow. just like that's really cool because it's real life it's real and, James Bond type yeah, stuff exactly. right. 
And who doesn't want to do James Bond or Mission Impossible? Mm-hmm. So yeah. the right. chance to do that stuff in real life is really fun. Um, now you talked to me about, uh, and I kept hearing this from makeup people, that I could handle it pretty well. And that some people can't. Uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting because a lot of people will say they can. And the ones that go in really like, I can do anything. Not usually good. the ones that that break down or yeah. leave. Because it, it really you, freaks out the human side. Like humans do not want stuff glued on them. Well, I think once your peripherals impacted and then yeah. you, you can't really breathe out of your nose and yes. the makeup you're in, yeah. there's something obviously in your mouth. Yeah, I had so teeth. I had every, yeah. everything's being sort of messed with. And yeah. then you've got this wig over your ears where you haven't had muffled sound before. Right. And then your whole body gets coated in glue. I mean, that's like the grand finale. Yeah, that right. was the one that I had the most trouble with. And then with. you can't touch anything. You gotta walk around. I mean, it's just like layer on layer. You can only eat through a straw. Has anybody yeah. ever quit, uh, like that you can remember, where they're like, I can't do it, and they had to recast? Well, there are some yeah. famous stories. Yeah. Um, like what? Oh, who, uh, who's the comedian from Grinch Who Stole Christmas? Like there oh, was, he had a point where he Jim had Carrey. Had Jim on. Carrey, yeah. yeah. He walked off the set. Well, did you but, work on that? I did not, but... You can't blame somebody when, like what you're talking about, where everything's getting impacted. You've got contact lenses you can barely see. Yeah. Your ears are completely covered. You can't yeah. hear. You've got teeth, foam. You have no tactile sense of anything because your fingers are covered in fur. Yeah. It Which, trips when you're you designing out. something, how much do you think about that when you're designing it? Like, okay, how many things? Is there like a thing well, where you're like they can handle four things it's and then they different with everybody but i think for us it comes down to trying to make something that you can get people into and out of quickly oh yeah that's what i would say i would say you were such a good advocate for us because like once you're in it you're basically helpless right yeah and you can't and so tony would be so good about making sure i had a place to sit and Mm. and and are you getting your electrolytes he was it was just a person who cared about me which is like because the it sounds i mean i'm sure people at home are like what how hard can it be but it freaks you out. But man. you're dependent you're... on us to make sure that mm-hmm. everything is going right. Yeah. And it's our job to make sure the person's doing, because it's collaborative. So You're such a pro. Yeah. We're, it's, ve- it's a very intimate relationship. Yeah. It's like if. Because we had sex too. And that well, seemed yeah. I so out, natural. I so you blacked out. out. Were yeah. you blacked in out. makeup when that happened? Yeah, or? he oh, wanted... I was. <laughs> <laughs> Was. Well, thank you it so much. It was a full fat suit. So. <laughs> I love it. I try and present a challenge. I have certain yeah, fetishes. Yeah, you have fetishes. Yeah, but uh, Tony, thanks so much. You this is thanks, the, Tony. This is the superstar of special effects yes. makeup. Yeah. I am well. Okay, really quickly, Tony, what's this from? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. Okay. What's this from? Uh, that was from a canceled movie. It was a it was a prototype, like sort of research and development for a film that never happened. I love it. Okay, what? Who is this? I'll get to the soundbite <laughs> after I talk. Them. Oh, that's a. Uh, who's this guy? That this looks like Phil Hoffman, but that's it's Jack not. Black. Oh, it's yeah, Jack. That's Jack Black. Yeah, that's from the Jackal. He he blows oh up. Oh my God! Yes. He blows up. Oh, good. That's pretty cool. And that's this? just creepy stuff. Just he creepy has around. stuff. Chucky yeah. Skulls. Wow. Daft Punk. Daft Punk. Daft Punk. Good at Paltrow toy, because who oh doesn't want... Oh, my God. Well, you did her in a fashion? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. I saw those That's pictures. Right. Who's that? Who's this? That was from Adaptation. Whoa. Oh, right. He's uh, the uncle in the back seat of a car when the... And then the baby? Accident. Just a baby. Uh, the baby's been around, i got to say. Okay. <laughs> there it is. So this Billy is Butcher. Tony's world. All right. Somewhere he has a bust of me like this back yeah, in the back. But this part's all broken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's got a lot of eye makeup on it. <laughs> I don't want to know why. All right, All right. signing off from Alterian, Howler.tv, where we take over the world.